All right, folks, it's election time 2024. I'm getting a lot of requests uh, for help with the election this year. And I thought I would go ahead and do a video guide here uh, with my two cents. All right, so we're going to start with the candidates that uh, I don't think you should vote for. First, uh, the ringleader of the bad folks, Mr. Antoine White. So where should we start with this guy? Uh, well, he's a thief. Uh, he was at the helm of the Prince Frederick Eagles when $17,000 went missing. He himself was charged with misdemeanor theft out of that whole incident. Um, I've been told that he concocted this grand scheme when he worked at Smeco uh, for theft of overtime and was terminated for that. It looks, based on everything I've seen, he can't really hold a job. Uh, with all the efforts to confirm his current employment, they've hit roadblocks. Uh, it looks like he does not have a job at all. Hasn't had a job for some time. Um, on his financial reports that he had to send in to file for candidacy, or probably, I guess, because he's currently on the board, he listed a mortgage company that he worked for, called them, a couple of people there. Uh, the one lady reported that he hasn't worked there in like two years. Um, <clears throat> he said at the last candidate forum that he worked for the Naval Academy and he had 150 people under him. We called the Naval Academy. They said Antoine who? So given the fact that he's at events all day long, uh, you got to ask the question, do you have a job? Where's your money coming from? And why would a guy that doesn't have a job, to the best of my knowledge, vote to deny an audit of the school budget? Things that make you go, hmm. All right, so uh, that's my take on him. Definitely don't vote for that guy. Uh, the next Democrat in the line is uh, Miss Flame. Miss Flame, uh, talking to her in person, seems like a nice lady, but she has some very extreme views. <clears throat> so I was the one that actually found her Twitter page, which was, which was somewhat hidden after she filed for her candidacy. And I started screenshotting her Twitter uh, account. I posted a couple of them and she deleted the whole account because it's that extreme. So she's big anti-police, anti-military, anti-discipline. She wants to let boys and girls sports. Typical liberal extreme and not something that I think any of us want around here. Um, <clears throat> the next, uh, the other uh, Democrat candidate is Mike Schisler, former uh, principal, Beach Elementary. I disagree with a lot of his views, but he's a decent human being. I don't really have anything negative to say about him. So <clears throat> I, I would still, because my beliefs align more with his opponent, Joe Marchio. Great guy. Uh, works for a big construction company. Super smart. Um, just decent human being. So, and then Flames, or I guess uh, White's opponent is Paul Harrison. Great dude. Great guy. An accountant for a university school system. Big university. I think Hopkins. Very smart guy. Doesn't really have the face for politics. But smart dude. <laughs> so anyway, uh, we got to go. Melissa Goshorn. Paul Harrison and Joe Marchio for school board. And those are the only races that I am concerned with this year. So, uh, so I'd appreciate it if everyone would take a look at those folks, do your own research, and hopefully vote for those three. And let's make our school system uh, super good because uh, that's what we need around here. And uh, yeah, hope to see everybody out there voting uh, between now and the official election day. And thanks a lot for... Uh, listening to my two cents.